What is up, guys? Uh, I have not posted in a while, and I know that it's it's been a crazy like two months or three months ever since I posted. Uh, so now I'm in college. Uh, not gonna say which college I go to, but I enjoy it. It is a uh, Christian college. I'll tell you that. Uh, actually, I actually really enjoy it here. There's been a lot of stuff that's been happening lately, which I wish didn't happen first year of college, but um, it's. It's okay, I'm getting through it all. So, but that's what this that's not what this video is about. Uh, let me tell you what's been going on. Uh, since I came to college, I'm studying biology. Biology is, well right here, uh, they don't have zoology here, but since they don't have zoology, I'm just studying biology. And um, I'm really, really caught an interest when it comes to fish. I loved fishing beforehand. Uh, I didn't make a video on fishing or anything, but I love to go fishing like as much time as much as I can. But um, yeah, I decided once I got my paycheck, I decided to buy a ten-gallon tank, and with the one that I helped my girlfriend out with, we had rocks already, and the tank came with a filter and a and a lid and an LED lid light. Um, so I decided to get a 10 gallon tank and I put two bluegill in there. Two bluegill survive a week. I mean, they're still alive now. I put them in a, I put them in a lake not too far from here, but they survived a, a week in my kit. So I just wanted to see how I'd do with bluegill and stuff like that first before I started going with actual aquarium fish that have been in aquarium for like their whole life. So, the tank is up there. I don't know if you can see it, but it is uh, right there. I have two of them, but that's an old tank. This is the new one. I actually just emptied it out of everything, all the fish and everything, and I'm just cleaning it right, right now. But uh, <sighs> yeah, my I just got a new tank. I got 20 gallon. It's over there. Um, I'm not gonna show you what's in it yet, but I'm going to show you a little bit later once I get over what I'm going to say. So I had the 10 gallon and I had bluegill in there and the bluegill, they actually got really used to it after like a day or two, they started eating. I started buying minnows and they were eating the minnows. And uh, I just want to see how I was doing. So since they survived and I, they were doing good, I decided to get my dream fish. But since I didn't have this 20 gallon yet, and I didn't really feel, want to feel like, I didn't really feel like filling that one up yet because it never filter anything for it. And uh, I just put them back and I went to go buy my dream fish. And I put the address of the store that I was at. It's in Illinois, it's up uh, south suburbs of uh, Midlothian. Uh, I'll put the address of it below. I love that store. It's not the biggest, but it has a wide variety for, even for just how big it is. From reptiles to uh, fish, especially fish. They, at that store, I never really, once I got into fishing, or not just fishing, once I got into aquariums and ponds and all that, uh, I started learning about all these different fish, all these exotic fish, and I didn't think my pet store, my local pet store had that. The PetSmart that's down the street does not have that. They always have the basic, small, fish, uh, cichlids, oscars, uh, betta fish, uh, koi, goldfish, yeah. So once I started getting into fish, I started looking around maybe two weeks ago, three weeks ago in, the, in that store, and I saw that they had peacock basses, and they had, and I've always wanted a peacock bass. Ever since I started learning about fish, and I've seen other people have bass, I've always wanted a I wanted. I've always wanted a peacock bass, so I didn't. I do not have one right now. Did not buy one. Maybe if you guys comment down below if, if I should buy one or not after I show you this tank, then I'll buy one. But um, yeah, so I bought two, four fish, and a couple other things from that store. Since I found out they have arowanas, both silver and albino, they have a albino channel catfish. They have uh, peacocks, butterfly koi, cichlids, uh, Florida gars. Uh, they have this thing called a mata mata turtle. Did not know that thing existed until I saw it. It looks like a dinosaur. 
whenever I go back, I'll record it and I'll show you guys. Uh, they have those. They they have piranhas. They have red belly piranhas. They have both babies and like adult ones, and they have uh, turtles. They have they sell tanks there too, and um, a bunch of stuff for reptiles, and it just goes. They they have a large pleco plecos and uh, like I said, the turtle, the gar, the arowanas, and all the fish you could pretty much dream of. And you'd be I was surprised when I saw it because of how big the the store was itself. The store was not that big, but to have this variety in there, once I started learning about it, I, I was like, I need to have this fish. Once I saw it, so. Uh, there's, uh, if anyone who watches my channel also watches people like Catch Em All Fishing or Paul Caffaro, they both have these fishes, these fish, fishes, wow, they both have these fish, and they either have or had these fish, or they've experienced having the, or someone close to them having the fish, and these fish are just the best fish. Right now, I've... It's the size of my three fingers, and I measured that. My three fingers are two inches long, so right now they're only two inches. I got two of them, but they're gonna grow to be monsters in the future. Um, so besides for that, pretty much, I haven't bought a tank from there. At least, I went to PetSmart. The tank, the combo set was $30 for a 10 gallon and a filter and a light and uh, $60 for a 20 gallon, a filter and a light. So I, I decided to get I, I decided to get that instead of going there. They don't really have combos. They just, they're better at fish rather than tanks, but they do have tanks. They have like 50 gallons, uh, 60, 60 gallons, and all a bunch of big tanks. They also have uh, small ones for beta fish and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so next time we go in there, I'll record it. I'll show you guys. Uh, let me know if you want to see it. Comment below, and I'll do it. But here we go. Here's the big reveal of the fish that I finally got. My dream fish. The first one, I'm. it's going to be the last one that I show you guys. But I'm going to just go from probably the biggest. And I, They're all pretty small, so I would just say I'd go from the most importance to me. So here we go, you guys ready? All right. Okay, so before I show you these fish themselves, let me, I can't express to you. Yeah, my room is a little messy, a little messy. I literally came back from St. Louis a few days ago. Um, but yeah, before I even show you these fish, let me express to you how much, how, how excited I am to have these fish. and how much I just love the fish themselves. I've seen them on multiple shows and then uh, YouTube channels and everything. So I hope you enjoy and you stay for the adventure that I will have as I raise these fish to become monsters. So here we go, you ready? All right, so here we go. Starting off, before I even show you, I don't wanna show you anything too much, so I'm gonna show you these. I got three snails, I got one, I got two, and then I got three over there. And uh, I got the snails, because, well, let me tell you. I got the snails, obviously. I don't want algae in here. I wanted uh, the other, here, let me show you. The other, the other uh, fish tank that I have, it's pretty much just a regular fish tank that you expect at home. Uh, blue, blue gra gravel, Blue rocks and it's a little dirty right now. I'm gonna clean it out, but I wanted a all natural, maybe not all natural, but I just wanted a nat a more natural uh, aquarium. So that's why for this one I actually got uh, mineral substrate. The koi eat it, but they end up spitting it out. I think it's food, but it's not. <laughs> but yeah, I ended up getting a uh, actual all natural like substrate. And mineral rich for the plants. I wanted to get live plants, so I'm gonna show you at the end the plants. You'll see them throughout the video, but I'll tell you what they are or where I get, got them from or 
anything at the end of the video. But, uh, yeah, so I got those three things that I showed you. And then I got these. These will help feed. I got 12, uh, one dozen. So 12, uh, 12 of them. I have 12 little ghost shrimp. I got them to feed my favorite fish of all time. And they will be able to, they'll be in here. They eat, they eat the flakes that I do, that I give for the minnows. So they're not, they'll be good until they get eaten. But uh, that's not really what's important. These are the minnows that I was talking about for the bluegill. Because once I put the bluegill back, I still had that many minnows left. And I don't really want them, but they're here. <laughs> I'm gonna get another fish. You guys have to tell me down below what fish I should get and uh, what like predatory fish. Ooh, he almost came into the came into the view. So yeah, so what predatory fish I should get, and uh, I'll get I'll see how see what it looks like, see how it is, and then I'll end up getting it. So here is my like second favorite. I could get a paku. They have paku there too. I didn't even mention that. They do have paku there. Um. So this is my second favorite fish. And I got them. These are like the most colorful ones that they had there. They didn't really have the best assortment when it comes to koi. But they make up for it. Because they, ha they have enough, but they don't have like... They have a lot, but they don't have enough for different, different colors. So I got two butterfly koi. I love koi. I've had koi. I love catching carp, and koi are pretty much just colorful carp to me. That's what they pretty much are. And uh, just seeing the butterfly ones, they just look so angelic, especially with the black bottom. They just shine. They just, like, pop out when it comes to it being in, in the dark or just with the ground. So here's, here's what they look like. I got a yellow one, a yellow and black one. Don't go by the other fish. I cannot show them yet. So I got a silver one, and I got the other one, black one. They are, once I get these minnows out of here, I think they'll be swimming around more often. I think, I don't know, with the minnows all together, they might be scared. They've been a little fidgety. They're just gonna have to get used to being in here, being in such a big tank. They were in like a 15 gallon with maybe like 10 other fish. So I ended up getting them out, and now there's two of them. And those are gonna be monsters by themselves so uh before i show you like before i show you these last fish let me tell you right now they might be small but we all know if you know these fish you know they just eat they grow overnight and uh that's why i got the ghost shrimp so they could eat them there was only like three dollars for a dozen two dollars two two three dollars for a dozen so i was just like why not i'll just buy it see how they eat them see how they feel when it comes to that so yeah, that's how they've been doing, and here we go. You guys ready? All right, here we go. All right, there we go. Here we, there goes one of them. So, yes, that is, you can barely see the tail. He's, like, tucked underneath this little ledge right here. But yes, this is a red-tailed catfish. I actually, that's just my favorite fish of all time. I grew up fishing and catching catfish and watching like river monsters and seeing how all that is. And one episode he was in Asia and uh, he ended up catching one of these and it was really big. But just the way it looked with the red, obviously, just the coloration and the red tail and it just looked like a beautiful fish. And I already love catfish. I was going to buy an albino channel, channel catfish. But I decided against it, as for now, maybe later in the future, I might get it. I think I might change those rocks out and put that in another tank. Because I'm, I have a, I have a tank, a two and a half gallon tank, which I'm going to have a betta fish. So, never, never really had one as a child. Decided I'm going to get one. So, I'm going to get one. Uh, so, I think I'm just going to drain all the water, then or empty all the water, and then... Put that all the rocks, wash them all off, and then put them in a two and a half gallon, and then have my uh, my fish just like that. But I got the one that's in the corner right there. Look at him. 
he just looks so beautiful. If the koi wants to move, yeah, he just looks so, so cool. And then I got the other one, which he is under there. He's underneath everything. You can see his little mouth right there. He's just hiding underneath by the snail. But uh, yeah, these snails, they just love traveling. This is literally my second take of making this video. He, three minutes ago, was right next to him and now he's all in the corner. And he's just gonna end up going up the wall like he always does. But uh, yeah, these are, this is my aquarium, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna get more fish. You guys just tell me down below what I should get. Maybe I should get a Paku. Maybe I should get some other predatory fish. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna do more, uh, I'm gonna research more and uh, do everything that I need to do to ensure that the fish I love are safe while I introduce another fish. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of research on that, but uh, go down below, uh, comment what I should get, uh, like this video, uh, comment, subscribe, share it with friends. Uh, maybe it's a great starter video for other people to see how maybe the tank should be or how it should look or what, how how good a tank and not how good but like i mean how what you should do to keep it clear because originally this was all foggy but with plants and everything and you want i'm gonna get placos that's for sure i'm gonna get uh albino like two albino placos uh just so it can have a contrast with uh the ground i love having fish that contrast with the ground that's why i got white snails the only ones that go with it are the red tails, but that's only because they're so little at the same time. But once I get the Placos, the albino Placos, and we'll see how all that looks at the end. And uh, when I get those, and maybe I'll get some more fish when, if you guys comment. And uh, I, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. See you later. Peace.